All right. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Okay, and I'm your host, uh, Felicia, for the evening. Welcome, everybody, to our Saturday Night Live session. And uh, this week, um, Ask the Experts uh, session is once again brought to you by Fit Unit and Pertubuhan uh, Rakan Komite Pendidikan Perak PRKPP uh, to bring you uh, relevant topics, uh, especially to keep ourselves um, well informed, and more educated during the uh, lockdown. And uh, yeah, we have uh, some new faces uh, besides our regular ones. Um, we have Azri, we have Hanira, we have uh, Muhammad Muas. And then we have as well our usual Nurin, uh, we also see Shafika, Coach Francis, Dr. Here, and Prof. Mohan. Right. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Okay. So, how is everybody doing? Fine. Okay. Fine. All right. Great. Um, so, okay, perfect. So let's get started. So yeah, today, tonight's topic, um, it's an interesting one by uh, Prof. Muhammad. Um, it's called Being Mindful, Focus, Attention on Breathing. So how do, how do we practice the art of focus attention? Um, I think attention already means that you are putting attention on something, right? Uh, but how do we focus Sometimes we have a different, uh, we can be also distraction perhaps. So tonight, uh, Prof. Muhammad will be uh, sharing with us our mindfulness series, uh, this starting this uh, Saturday, starting this weekend. And uh, we're also on Facebook Live. So if you have any questions uh, regarding mindfulness, uh, regarding about focus, and uh, yeah, uh, Prof. will have his presentation and uh, feel free to leave in the comments, the chat box. Uh, we also open it for discussion. And also if you are viewing it on Facebook, you can also leave some questions so uh, we can have Prof uh, answer them as well. All right, so the floor is uh, yours, Prof. Okay, thank you, Felicia. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good evening to everyone. Thank you once again for being with us today. Uh, Inshallah, this is going to be a workshop thesis. So today is the beginning of a mindfulness workshop. So let me share with you my screen. So this is basically uh, what is going on. It's a, it's a series that will go on for several weeks uh, because at the end of the day, uh, with regard to breeding itself, they may have uh, at least another three sessions to go along with it. And subsequently, we will dwell into what we call mindful thoughts, mindful emotions, and mindful behaviors. That will help us to actually uh, cover uh, almost all the aspect that is necessary for us to cover with regard to being mindful in our own life. So basically, uh, today, uh, I will start with what we call the first workshop uh, with the goal of actually to understand and how to achieve a calm mind. Uh, and then subsequently, uh, I will try to stress upon uh, what is the importance of breathing uh, and then the basic concept of mindfulness and issues arise at the early stages of mindfulness practices. And subsequently, we will actually dwell into what we meant by mindless to mindful breathing. Uh, and we will end up with uh, what we call homework for all of us to do. Uh, so I hope that each and every one of us who are present right now uh, will also actively maybe participate in the chat if you've got anything. Uh, you can always uh, raise your hand if you've got anything to ask 
or you can write uh, in the chat so that we can understand. So I think uh, let me move on to, uh, with our workshop. Uh, I will take about uh, just about 12 slides or 13 slides uh, to start with. So as you know, all of us have been hearing quite uh, a number of times we complain ourselves with regard to, you know, we need to calm our mind and uh, we are quite stressful. We are always, uh, you know, overthinking. We have a lot of uh, situation that we want to handle, to care for. So our mind was never being actually uh, quiet or in a restful state and subsequently uh, it affects our everyday life. We are not really at peace and not in harmony. So as you know, uh, with your calm mind, you can achieve inner peace. This is what is important. Uh, all of us are stressed up with certain, certain and every aspects possible in our life. Uh, there will always be challenges in our life. The only thing is how we take up those challenges uh, possibly we have to be very mindful about how we act on each and every one of them. Uh, and this is where we try to now start to learn how to be able to handle all those challenges. Uh, on top of it, we still have a very calm mind and in harmony and peace within ourselves. So as you know, uh, breathing is one of the very basic uh, Thing that we have a very uh, free tools that we have and uh, we have been doing it again and again all the time and we know that with uh, easy breathing with proper breathing uh, actually we can settle our mind and we can restore calmness uh, now uh, what happened is that uh, we are we become very mindless about our breathing so later, I would like to actually point out how we can become mindful of our breathing. Yeah? We will then, once we start uh, the workshop the training, we will look into those aspects. As you know, uh, breathing is actually the reflection of the state of your mind. If you are actually anxiety, anxious, uh, panicking, obviously your breathing will become what we call hyperventilation. Uh, very fast and at the end of the day with hyperventilation, you can become so uh, panicky in nature. Uh, or maybe uh, you are not able to breathe adequately, uh, so you become tense, you feel uh, aches, you have headache, you have body aches, your muscle is tense and not relaxed, and that kind of a thing will affect your uh, daily function. And also breathing will reflect in terms of your actually state of consciousness. Uh, most important, if you want to understand, uh, when we say about consciousness, we are fully aware of what is going on. That is very important here. Because uh, as you know, we may try to be very conscious, but usually it just flits into the subconscious mind, into what we call mindlessness. So as you know, uh, in terms of breathing, oxygen uh, takes in and then there was a very good oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. Uh, every time you breathe out carbon dioxide and that's make uh, the circulation better because the oxygen goes into all the tissues and the tissues get uh, proper oxygenation. So that will relax your muscles and subsequently will also relax your mind. So this is four important aspects of uh, mindfulness. Uh, the first key word is awareness. And that awareness comes with actually your attention because uh, if you are aware, that means you maintain your attention. Uh, and the other aspect is on purpose. So that means now to make yourself aware, you must have intention. Without intention, you will never have attention. So anything that you want to do, let's say at this moment, you have intention to be with me, to understand this concept and subsequently to appreciate the so-called, uh, the concept of mindfulness and mindful breathing. So that is the intention right now. 
and hopefully even now you can already practice your mindfulness towards this session so at this particular moment in the present you are with me with the intention of trying to learn something that you are possibly interested in or possibly not only just interest but to some you're already very passionate about what you want to get for yourself and then with that with the intention then you will be able to give the focus attention you will be able to put your attention to a high level uh, and i would say if you are really with a good intention that you want to gain something your attention will be able to sustain possibly throughout the whole hours that we have uh, but it can also depend on uh, the distraction so there can be a lot of distraction along the line and then distraction you must actually possibly it will come you will let it go you don't make any kind of a judgment you don't even worry about other things that comes along in your thoughts possibly uh, in your feelings possibly uh, so you just let it come you just let it go that is what we call non-judgmental and even uh, if you can you can have what we call be kind to yourself uh, be compassionate with yourself uh, feel that what you are trying to do right now uh, with mindful uh, so-called session with me uh, you have uh, feeling warmth about being together and you have what we call curiosity to know more and to learn more so that is why i think it is very important in fact before we really go into already the element of mindfulness as such you already have a situation where you can be mindful of that is this current session that we have so with that first and foremost when we talk about being mindful with your breathing you have to make your breathing a conscious one uh, when we talk about making your breathing a conscious mind that means you are fully aware that every moment that you take in the breath and every moment that you breathe out that means that is what conscious breathing unfortunately again as i said this conscious nature of us usually is very short in duration very transient in nature so that somehow when we just slip our mind out of the consciousness we become mindless again with our breathing and once we become mindless with our breathing then our subconscious mind take over and we actually our thoughts will then come in from one thought to become many 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 thoughts and those many thoughts subsequently will distract us so much that we don't even realize of our breathing right now so this is where it's very important for all of us to understand how to bring back that conscious moment that we want to be because the intention was said that for this particular maybe five minutes for this particular maybe 10 minutes or two minutes you want to be fully aware of your breathing and that is what mindful is all about bring it back to what your intention is so that you can still maintain your attention and you can just push away all those distractions so as you know uh, being conscious of your breathing uh, forces you actually to always be in the present that is another key for mindfulness always be in the present moment because actually present moment is the most important moment for you the past you cannot do anything much but you can learn from it you can take what we call a lesson from what you have from the past and you can never ever actually determine how the future will be if your present is actually a faulty one so if ever your present is always right if ever your present is always on the right track your present will determine your future that means every step you take every action you make if it's all correct then obviously the future will become correct so that is very important if you become conscious if you become mindful uh, and you have to always bring yourself or automatically it will bring you to the present moment so as i said the key word here first and foremost anything everything that we want to do right now 
we have we must have intention in in Malay we call it we have a niat what is our intention we want to gain something what is intention we want to be able to learn certain skill possible with intention we want to achieve certain goal so this is where mindfulness starts when you have intention the purpose of what you want to achieve and it guides you how to act and subsequently achieve your result so don't forget anything that we do we must have an intention only then actually we can come up with what we call focused attention and focused attention means we able to sustain paying attention to the thing or to the single task that we do during that time possibly 10 minutes possibly one hour and we can exclude everything else that is not important at that particular time or that particular moment that we are in. So example, like you can be so engrossed in your work, in your study, in your relationship, that nothing else actually disturbs you. Even though the distraction is there, but you can just actually push it aside because you are fully having what we call focused attention. The unfortunate thing about focused intention is it is not a natural state. You have to actually put yourself and you have to actually uh, give energy to it. You have to actually make it fully aware. That means you have to work hard for it because it is not something that comes naturally with you. So usually some people, they feel that to stay focused uh, sometimes make them tired. Uh, sometimes make them lose focus. I, I can tell you uh, quite a number of times, if I were to give you a one hour of my talk to you and you are a passive listener, so that is where the focus attention is going to be disturbed. So during this time, obviously, the, the other important element is say no to any unnecessary distraction. To distraction that possibly Yes, it may come, but it is not important for that particular moment. So this is the key. The key is that don't try to do so many things. Don't try to add on with a lot of other aspects of things that you possibly is not really necessary at that point of time. So you must learn how to say no to any kind of distraction if you are intention to achieve mindful on certain uh, behavior behavior that you are doing right now. So then subsequently, we have to learn how to regulate the breathing and thereby control the mind. This is where it is not only stop here, understanding it, this is where the practice or the practical part comes in. You have to learn from there on or from today after this session, after we do it again. Uh, inshallah for today, I will get you to try to appreciate focus attention, maybe uh, in three different uh, time. One is about one minute focus attention, and subsequently we try to see whether we can extend to actually two minutes and then five minutes. And subsequently, when you are back home, you can always practice within one hour. Just take five minutes to try to have what we call mindful breathing focused attention on what that you are wanting to achieve with regard to your breathing. So always remember, uh, by when you balance your breathing, you can control your emotion and you can calm your mind. And from the quiet mind, obviously, you can have a clarity in looking at things. You become more wise. You have better insight. You know how to make good choices. You are not subsequently uh, making more and more mistakes, uh, more and more complex situation because your mind is not calm and the breathing is actually the source of the issue. So this is the last slide. Beware of your breathing as often as you are able. This is where I said this is the homework. So now when it is a homework, you have to actually skillfully achieve this so-called breathing mindfully. That means, uh, as I said, 
possibly in a day itself. Try to actually be able to mindful breathing for at least five minutes within an hour and subsequently repeat it again after the next hour and then repeat again five minutes in the next hour so that it becomes second nature to you later. As you know, that in a one year after doing all this, you get a new habit, you become fully aware of your breathing and actually you will achieve what we call a transformative uh, uh, self within you. So, and you know, breathing is obviously, it is free. It is something that is already with us. So with that, actually, uh, I can open for a short discussion before, or clarification or question, before we go on to really do what we call mindful breathing. Okay, I will stop sharing now. I will open a discussion to uh, our listener uh, and possibly uh, Felicia can take over for a while. All right, so we have a few people joining us as well. There is Joseph, there's Jess, and uh, Ayub is here. All right, so uh, Prof, maybe you can share with us. Uh, distractions is inevitable. We cannot avoid it. Um, so... Besides the breathing techniques that you're going to you know, teach us, how do we uh, know when we are getting distracted? I think being mindful about it is, is knowing when you are distracted, right? Yeah. Uh, mindfulness also actually covers the distraction part of it. While you're trying to do the breathing, then you've got some thoughts coming or you hear some noises outside or you actually got distracted for some other thing, maybe even the places, the situation, and things of that nature. And now, always remember this. What is my intention at this point of a time? That's why to be mindful in your breathing, you can cut off all the external distraction easily by looking at the proper place, uh, by possibly uh, telling people that you, have, you want to have your, your personal time to do mindfulness, you can do those kind of things. The only thing that you cannot control is your own thoughts. And the thoughts usually will bring into some kind of emotion. So now, if you realize that the thought is there, let's say before you want to do the breathing exercise, you will already engage into a situation that make you feel so, uh, how should I say, so uh, disturbed, so distressed. But now, as you know, we can breathe properly. So now it's like the breathing is actually the medicine for the distress situation. So you can't do anything much about the stressor. You can't do much about the stimulus. So just get away from whatever the source is. Go into a place where you can actually quiet yourself from those stressors, even though it is difficult to push away the thoughts. But then start to actually be very conscious what your intention is. So this is where we need to learn how to do it. Because sometimes people just let it be and then they get into the cycle of being careful stuck in the thoughts okay so that is how you look into it. all right this is where we are trying to train you how to completely just see it without any judgment mm. don't further the thoughts don't try to also dwell into it and mm. that is the part that we call non-judgmental mm. let it come Our intention is the breathing for the moment we are talking about the breathing there are many other ways that you can do. Uh, maybe the other ways is your prayers. Maybe the other ways, you know, mm. uh, you want to occupy yourself with reading a book. Uh, maybe you want to occupy yourself with playing with your pet. Those kind of a thing can also actually push away that thoughts that disturb you. Right. Um, yeah, there's also a... Hope that answers the question. Yeah, uh, yeah. That definitely. Um, I think so. It's not just... Uh, yeah, it's just like... 
knowing and letting it be. Uh, don't dwell into it and see it with, you know, uh, with no judgment and uh, just be away for a bit, being mindful about it, you know, using uh, breathing or I think a lot of exercise also uh, focuses on breathing, um, like uh, stretching, yeah. yoga, uh, even running, even walking, uh, and even going to mm. the garden kind of thing, you know, doing gardening. I think those are the things that really help you to sort of get back to your center, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, so um, there is a comment on Facebook uh, yeah. asking a question because last week we had a discussion on anger issues, right, and anger management. Um, Prof, could you share how mindfulness yeah. breathing can help with anger issues? Okay. Uh, as I said, uh, these are emotions uh, that develop from a particular stimulus. Uh, you have to learn how to see that uh, development of anger from the situation that is there, that coming, uh, that actually as a root cause to the problem. So to start with example, uh, I can give you a simple example. Today, let's say, I was quite angry when somebody start open burning around my house. Mm. And obviously, uh, with, the, with the wind, uh, so the smoke get into the house. But then, uh, I have to think about it. Now, what should I do the proper way? Should I be angry and continue hurting myself with that anger? Or should I let it go because I don't really know who do the burning? Uh, so the choice is mine. And I know I got several avenues to deal with the problem. Or uh, maybe uh, I also have another possible avenue where I go into the WhatsApp, my WhatsApp group, uh, the, the neighborhood WhatsApp group, and ask anyone who knows what is going on. Then I find the answer, what was it? Then I can actually locate and then for the time being, maybe can identify uh, the source and maybe can do proper thing. Example, uh, people are saying, okay, if the, if the fire appears to be rather big in nature, we got no choice but to call the, uh, the fire brigade. Or we have to actually report to the Jabatan Alam Sikita mm. to help us do it. So there are many avenues actually. The problem with most of us is that we are stuck with only one way of looking at it. And we actually turn inward and make ourselves angry for no reason. So that is one how we work out on our mind. Then subsequently, if you want to learn how to relax yourself, as I said, that mindfulness, example, mindfulness breathing, as you know, if you become more and more angry, your breathing becomes more and more erratic, and then your muscles become more and more tense. And subsequently, the, compli the complication of all those things can actually, uh, now from one problem, it can affect another problem. For example, you let out your anger to someone who doesn't cause a problem. Your family, your children, your even, you, you even scolded someone in the WhatsApp group, but they are all not responsible. So this is how you look at it. If then you learn how to relax yourself through mindful breathing, because that mindful energy that is not necessary. So then once you quiet down, once you can settle yourself that way and get it a better uh, relaxation and calmness within you, then possibly you can deal with it much better later. Not at that point of a time when actually you don't really know how to work on it. Uh, the worst thing is that that's where you always actually, when you start turning inward to yourself, you hurt yourself more. And that's when everything complicated after that is difficult to undo. So I think it's very important for us to take note how and what avenues you have got. All right. So um, how okay do we, with yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, thank you so much for your um, sharing on that. Um, yeah. So how do we um, move on to our next um, session that we will be doing our breathing? Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Okay, now if possible, maybe we need to look at each and every one of us 
uh, first and foremost, can we have all the videos on the, so that we can see who is around? And then uh, from there, actually, the first and foremost uh, thing that we need to do is how to make yourself comfortable in your position, whether you are in a chair, uh, you know, if you have any uh, tight clothing and things like that, try to uh, relax yourself. So this will be a, just a one minute experience looking and knowing how you are breathing. Okay. At this point, at this moment, I just wonder each and every one of you, do you realize you are breathing? So if you want to know whether you are breathing, possibly properly or not properly, as the diagram that I showed earlier, you can put your right hand on your chest and you can put your left hand on your abdomen. All right? And then just continue with normal breathing. Do you feel anything with your breathing? If your chest doesn't appear to be moving as much because your hand doesn't move with the chest, that means the breathing is possibly very shallow breathing and the breathing is also not even the upper chest. That means it is too, too shallow and possibly it is not a good breathing. And this kind of reading is what we have been doing all this while. So I just wonder, can you feel your breathing within that one minute? Okay, if you want to appreciate better, maybe some people, they appreciate better when they lightly close their eyes and just think and look at or listen to their breath and feel their movement of their head. So if you can do that in a minute, maybe let just experience it. Lightly close your eyes, put yourself in a comfortable position, All right? It doesn't matter, you don't need to really to sit up straight for the moment because you are not really doing meditation. You are just wanting to appreciate how is your breathing like right now. Okay, if I mean, what do you think or how would you actually respond to me with regard to the breathing that you have all this while? Maybe we can start with Felicia. Uh, how do you feel about your breathing actually? Yeah, I can feel my um, abdomen, uh, chest. It, it takes a little bit of mindfulness to feel the movement, but I feel my abdomen is actually moving. Like it, 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 it does, you know, my hand does feel, I do feel it on my left hand a bit more than my right hand. Hmm. Yeah. Because if you can move, actually, your left hand can move up, indicating actually your chest is expanding. Mm. If your chest is expanding, actually your right hand at the chest level will be able to feel it goes up. Right? So that is the thing that you want to achieve right now. Mm -hmm. Before we go for deep breathing, before we go for first breathing, before we go for other kind of a breathing, which later we will learn. This is the first thing. So right now, be aware of how the breathing is supposed to be. At the very basic minimum, the chest must move up and the abdomen must go a little bit forward to the uh, bulging forward. So if you can do that, actually, you try to practice it within a minute or so, right? So now quietly, you sit down or you lie down or in whatever comfortable position. We just appreciate that movement of your chest and the movement of your abdomen. The upper chest will be heaving upward into the up and your abdomen will be bulging when you inspire. The breathing can be as simple as breathe in through your nose and breathe out slowly through your mouth. You can do that. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Don't worry about making a mistake. Don't worry about trying to perfect it. Just do as much as you can. As long as you have the movement, that will be a better breathing than the, the one that you had before. If you don't have that movement, then possibly you need to achieve that movement. So when you become mindful of it, you should be able to achieve that proper breathing. Again, just relax, close your eyes. This time around, I want you to appreciate it for at least three minutes. Right? You can just set your time, three minutes, start the exercise. Breathe in through your nose. Don't try to force it. Just do it as easy as you can and slowly breathe out through your mouth. Don't force it too. Just breathe in, breathe out as comfortable as you can. Repeat it again and again. If ever thoughts come into your mind, maybe some people will say it is silly to do those kind of things. Maybe some people will say, what, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Just let it come, let it go. Don't dwell into that kind of thoughts. Don't worry about getting it right or getting it wrong. Just appreciate the breathing. This is what you need to do. So in three minutes, when you really actually notice your breathing, Do it your way, slow, steady, easy. And slowly breathe in. Take your time. Don't rush. Breathe out. Appreciate the breath. small breathing that you are taking in possibly you can feel a little bit more relaxed a little bit more calm if you try to breathe in as much as you can some people may experience some kind of actually lightheadedness because maybe they are not used to slow breathing so they end up with possibly lacking some kind of oxygen because of the slow breathing. So that's why they end up with some lightness, light headedness. Not to worry about that because you are not used to it yet. Just continue back to your normal breathing again. If you want to focus further, now try to start counting your breath. Counting quietly in your heart. One. Two. Possibly do about five count to start. Just focus on your breathing. 
forget about anything, everything that comes through you, comes to your mind, whatever that distraction there is, just let it come, let it go. Don't dwell on it. Back to your focus. If you have reached number five, you can relax for a while, go back to your normal state. Then later again, because you actually put yourself into that five minute time for that one hour, you can repeat doing it again until you fully cover your five minutes for that particular day, for that particular hour. Then find another time, the next one hour, you can do that again. Maybe not the first part of the hour, maybe the middle part of the hour, maybe the last third part of the hour. It's up to you. But most important, you keep practicing it, making it aware of your breathing. So this will be the first practice that you need to do from now on. Making aware of your breathing and feeling that your breathing is actually uh, very important. The breathing does make a difference. You can feel more relaxed. You actually can act, quiet down yourself a bit when you start focusing. Even though it's a five minute being quiet, that is good enough to appreciate it. Because a lot of time, many of us doesn't even get that five minute relaxed situation in a particular hour. And subsequently in the whole 24 hours, there possibly no at not, no time at all that we become relaxed. That's why we bring it ourselves back into this situation. Okay, for the time being, is there any questions? Uh, since we are already back in this uh, our normal cell situation where we don't focus on the breathing anymore, uh, but we focus on our discussion right now. All right. Uh, so, Prof, like doing the uh, breathing technique just now, just for just you know, a short, uh, below five minutes. Um, how does that affect uh, the? You know, will will somebody say, okay, if they are not feeling so good at the moment, or they're feeling a bit more, um, you know, tense up. So does those breathing help them to sleep better at night? Like how? What is the effects? Oh. What is the benefits of doing this regularly? As as you know, you have to do it regularly and a longer time period. What we are doing right now is just to familiarize with your breathing mm. and to be mindful of that breathing. Mm. What we did today just now is not the actually is not the real thing that could help you. It is only this is introduction is only for you to appreciate how to be mindful of your breathing. So it's breathing 101, yeah? <laughs> yes, breathing. Possibly not even 101. We call it pre uh, pre-kindergarten level. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah, so, do you know uh, you are even breathing? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think uh, our main issue is that, is that we are not actually practicing it so much. We don't even make it like example, breathing. At least you must be very mindful about it. 80%, 90% of your everyday life. It can be just a very short temporary. As, as you know, conscious state and subconscious state. Conscious state usually takes about 5% of your waking time. Then the rest is always the subconscious state. You don't even know what you are doing. So that's why now with this mindfulness, especially with the breathing aspect, make it now fully aware 95% of the time. And that's when you can always get back to the situation where you become relaxed. Okay, unfortunately, what is wrong with our situation? Our situation, you and me and everyone else, we have so many things that is around us. None at all that we actually can get away from. It's so different than the Buddhist monk the, and the yogis and whoever they practice. They are really away from the distraction. They are really, let's say, you know, in a very high ground, a very nice place and that is the only thing that they do if you were to know the buddhist monk obviously they do this meditation and they started their meditation actually about four o'clock in the morning and they practice it every day 
until possibly the lunch hour. And so what is, how can we actually claim that we are okay when we can't even give that time? Because all of us are easily got so many things to do. But it doesn't mean we need to go and hide ourselves and take, get away from what our so-called daily routines are. But why not start to look at it in every possible time that we have, start training this. Doesn't need to go for a long holiday to go just to do it that way. But if you can, even within the vicinity of your office, even within the vicinity of your home, you still can achieve it. This is what we are trying to sell the idea now. It doesn't need for you to get out and away, only then you can achieve. So I think uh, if somebody expect too much with this short breathing, uh, I think that is over expectation. So this is, as I said, this is the beginning. So in fact, this uh, breathing, it will go on at least maybe for a month. Just to get familiar with it. And subsequently, it become possibly, hopefully, uh, your second nature. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so, Prof, uh, is there any, uh, what is the next um, session is going to be like uh, after they already know uh, or, or one person learn about, you know, the breeding, uh, how should okay. one be mindful, right? So, what is the next step? Okay, now the next step, we look into all the different breathing techniques. Mm -hmm. The first breathing technique is what we call the slow, easy breathing. Actually, just now I was showing a bit of it. We call it a slow, easy breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, whereby you inhale to your nose, you expand your lung to the basis, and once your lung push the diaphragm down, that's when your abdomen bulge. And once your abdomen bulge, then actually you have the best, actually, deep, slow, easy, diaphragmatic breathing. And this needs to be done. The best way to do this, actually, and the easiest way to do it, actually, is to lie down. Uh, sitting up can be a little bit difficult because you are actually in your position, your abdomen is actually being, being pressed to a situation whereby it, if you were able to sit up straight, that means your chair position, the uh, so-called the back must be straight up and then you, you must be relaxed in your chair, right? You must be grounded, in fact, your legs, your feet, uh, your hand actually by on, on your so-called thigh kind of a place or even by your side, it should be okay. But the easiest way, if you can, maybe you can ready in a semi or super, uh, uh, supine position in that sense. If you can lie down, that will be easy. easy for you to do the breathing, deep, slow, easy breathing. So this will be actually uh, taught to you and we need to practice. But before we can go to that, for this whole week, the homework is always just be aware of your own normal breathing pattern and from there on look at how you can further refine it further improve it further able to appreciate the breath that you take how it brings possibly the good effects to you because this is where your training is you have to get it done every day. As I said, if possible, at least five minutes in an hour. And if you time by that 24 hours, 24 times five minutes, you are getting better and better. Because you can't afford to miss that. Right? If you can do more, you can do longer. You can repeat your mindful breathing even within that one hour, two or three times. That will be good for you. Because this is where, you know, when you have that intention to achieve it, I guess you are not only just interested, you actually may develop to be very passionate about it. 
because there is a good reason. The good reason is you want to be at peace within yourself and you want to achieve calm and clarity in your mind despite the challenges that you are facing. Always remember that. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to be a better person. I want to be able to stay calm. I want to be able to actually be at peace with anything, with any situation. Always remember that. And that is where you be mindful about your intention of what you want to learn about mindfulness. Then you practice on mindful breathing. Before we move on to breathing, uh, to the other things uh, besides breathing, to thoughts, possibly to emotion, and then to other behaviors like walking, eating, talking, and things like that, possibly the breathing uh, that you learn will make you easy to always get back. As I said, anxiety situation comes because of stress leading to sympathetic overreaction and the sympathetic overreaction make you hyperventilation. And the breathing actually change your sympathetic over-response to parasympathetic over-response. That is where with the breathing from sympathetic, it becomes parasympathetic. Parasympathetic autonomic nervous system will lead you to become more and more relaxed. That is what the physiology behind all this. If you can calm your breath, your breath, your breathing, if you can actually relax your muscle, you can actually calm your mind. That is what we are doing. So this will be the homework that we need to do for this one week before we move on to the aspect of actually deep breathing. If ever you want to be better in terms of your focus, beside counting, Actually, you can also listen to music as just now you put on some kind of a background music. That will be okay because you doesn't need to think about the music. But if you try to put something that you need to hear, that you need to decipher what it is, that is what we call multitasking. You will never be able to do anything when you try to do two things at one time at the same time. So I think uh, for today, I would want you all to have a logbook. And once you have a logbook about your mindful breathing, be mindful about your breathing pattern and how within a week you can change or you can better your breathing. That is what the homework is for today. All right. So there you go. We have our assignment for the week, <laughs> my prof. Um, I think it's good because um, yeah, at this time, um, I think we do really need to be mindful of our uh, emotions. Uh, we've been we've been talking about it and we've been discussing. It's really important to put into action. Um, so I think this series, uh, starting this weekend, uh, we'll definitely have more to explore. Um, it's so simple but yet profound. Yeah, um, I think one of the many benefits is to be able to uh, manage our emotions better mm. um, as well as to uh, respond to things better. I think um, if there were any um, crisis or any situation that crops up, um, I mm. think that this is definitely one of the uh, uh, coping mechanism, healthy one. Um, yeah, because it's, a, it's much of working on your inner uh, rather than your external factors. So... Yeah. If you are calm, you will never go into a reactionary mode. Mm -hmm. If you are calm, actually, you can do what we call possibly a pause. Take one minute, take five minutes, take two minutes, and that pause will make you better in your thinking. So there, is, there are many other ways, lah, not only just with regard to the breathing. Uh, maybe, as I said just now, uh, when something that crops up recently uh, with me in my housing area. So uh, obviously, so many people are not happy about it. And people are actually writing many things. Uh, I know scolding people around and saying, who is this uh, culprit who do within our neighborhood? So, But whatever it is, to me, it will be just a waste of energy and a waste of, uh, you know, in, in fact, uh, for us in Malay, we say, you know, just cari dosa only. 
uh, no point cari dosa because it's very difficult when you already scold someone it's very difficult to ask for forgiveness after that mm. you know so th that's why there are many ways of looking at it spiritually way culturally way emotionally psychology way right physical way so there are many ways actually so this is one of the ways right um so there you go so we have a really good session today thank you so much prof uh, for your time and also yeah to all our participants that have joined in uh thank you so much for joining in uh, perhaps we can all switch on our cameras for uh, a couple of seconds so that we can uh, if you can to take a photo <laughs> and uh, and yeah do give us um, a follow uh you can follow prof uh you can uh follow prof on his uh, uh facebook uh and also reach out to him if you have any inquiries and uh, also yeah give us a follow um, every saturday at 9 p.m so it's the same link same passcode do spread the news around um yeah join join us um, with your friends and so yeah so only four of us we have a good amount of participants today actually 14 people yeah everybody do switch on your cameras just for a minute and we can all take a group photo group selfie <laughs> Right. Okay. Do we have everybody? So thank you all for joining. Right. And okay. Let. Okay. Smile. One, two, three. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining our uh, call. And uh, 